Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Scarlett with Scarlett's Little Crafty Corner. And today, I have got an unboxing for you. Now, I've already took off all the um, address information. Um, but this come to me from Anita's Dream Creation. And she is on Etsy. And I will leave the link to her shop in my description box. She is a fellow Kentuckian, and I was excited to see that. Um, now, she has got everything, y'all. She's got everything in her shop. I was amazed by what all she carries in her shop. Um, y'all, y'all gonna hear my dog. He's mad at me because I took a bone away from him. So now he's gonna tear up everything while I'm making a video because he knows I can't well I can I can pause this and get him but he knows that it's gonna take a lot for me to do that so anyway um let me open this I I just took the tape and cut the tape off the box and just took hers and my uh info off um but that is it I haven't looked at nothing so open it up and I got a tray from her but I've got something I'm eyeing and I'm I'm thinking about getting alright now I've seen these I'm going to bring y'all down I've been seeing these with other creators using these and I thought they were pretty neat but this is a um what is it they call the lattice midi yeah tall gridded tray so this has got to where when you put your drills in here and you shake them they're going to go into these little individual squares and this is mainly for people who single place your drills. Now, she does have these to where the, um, the grids fall into, like, to where you can three place, four place. Um, you, there's larger ones is what I'm trying to say. And then she has, you know, just regular trays. And then she's got larger trays. She's got different trays. Y'all just gotta go check everything out. Um, but this one, like I said, this is the Lattice Midi Tall Gridded Tray. And she's got different colors. But I just wanted a small one. And this does have a stopper. And it's a pretty good one, too. So, as you can see, it just fits snug up in there. Just snap that sucker down. So, she is up closer to northern Kentucky. To where I'm over here in western Kentucky. So, we're still Kentuckians. So, that, I thought that was pretty neat when I seen where she was from. We got to stick together here in Kentucky. So, but yeah, y'all, she has got, y'all, I, I can't even tell you everything she's got in her shop. But she's got, like, light pad button thingies to where, you know, you, you're not going to accidentally turn your um, light pad off. She's got ceiling fan pulls, y'all. She has got um, miniatures. She's got miniatures. Y'all, if you've been following me, you know I just got into doing miniatures this past year. And she's got miniatures. Um, she's got other trays. She's got jewelry sizers. And for you outdoorsmen, she has got stuff, accessories for like if you bow hunt, which here in Kentucky we do a lot of hunting. Because that's how we feed our families. Um, yeah. You've got to go check her out. But this one item that she's got on there. I'm probably going to be getting it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. 
but it is called a glue bottle holder and with me doing miniatures I use a lot of glue and you can even put your you can put other things in it, it doesn't have to be glue but it's a tray that she has well it's a holder but you take your bottles and you tip them upside down to where your stuff is upside down to where you don't have to constantly shake your glue down to where when you go to, to you know squeeze your bottle you gotta wait until it gets down there it's always going to be down there but you know what you could also use it for glitter glue you could use it for um what's some things uh for like you card the people that does cards um oh my god i've got some stickles you could use it for stickles um yeah, for uh, accents, um, you could use it for anything. It doesn't just have to be glue. But I think I'm going to get me one for my glue, for all my bottles of glue. Because I've got wood glue, I've got alcohol glue, I've got Elmer's glue, I've got Eileen's glue. i got all kinds of glue, y'all. Three-in-one glue, I've got all kinds of glue. But anyway, I'm here about this tray. So, I'm going to pour some... Um, drills in here and we're gonna see what this looks like because I'm really excited to try it but you can see they're already popping in place so see they just go right into place and I think this was um let me look I wrote down no, I didn't. I think it was just like $13 for the tray. But yeah, this is good for like, um, single placing. Because I know a lot of people just single place. And I tend to single place a lot myself. And if I do do any multi-placing, it's just like pretty much a four-placing. But I think she does have trays that's just for four-placing. So, anyway, I will leave her info and everything in my description box. Look, I just dumped them out all by myself. Oh, y'all. I don't know what's wrong with me here lately. I have just been making so many messes. But anyway, I will definitely leave her Etsy shop and everything in my description box. So that y'all can go check out her shop. And like I said, y'all, she's got all kinds of stuff. Not just diamond painting items. She has got tons of stuff. So y'all go check her out. Um, heck, tell her I sent you. I don't care. Um, but like I said, when I seen that she was from Kentucky, which I did not know that she was from Kentucky when I first seen the trays I just like the trays but just knowing that she's from Kentucky is a plus so anyway y'all um go check her shop out um and yeah let me know what y'all think about the tray if you get one and I'm definitely going to try this out in my next diamond painting so until my next video, please do all the YouTube things, subscribe, like, comment, and until my next video, I will see you all later. Bye, y'all.